Hello there, I am Junaid and welcome back again to Xfinity. Today I will show you how to fix out of memory error in Adobe After Effects CC 2021. In this video I will share many ways to fix unable to allocate memory or out of memory error in Adobe After Effects CC 2021. So you need to stick with me till the end of this video in order to use your After Effects without any memory issues. So. Without any further delay, let's start right now. In this video, I will show you how we can fix the uh, out of memory error in Adobe After Effects CC 2020 or 2021. One of my subscribers highlighted this problem uh, that they are facing the issue of out of memory while uh, using the After Effects. So I did some research on this type of uh, error and I found a solution for this problem. And in this video I will share how we can solve this uh, out of memory error in Adobe uh, After Effects CC 2021. So let us dive us straight into the uh, After Effects and uh, show you uh, how we can fix this issue. Alright fellas, so we are right inside the Adobe After Effects uh, 2020 and uh, let me tell you one thing before starting. This error usually occurs when uh, you don't have enough uh, memory installed on your computer. It is highly recommended if after still watching this video you are unable to fix your problem you need to upgrade your RAM alright and uh, also you need to upgrade your uh, uh, hard disk drive uh, to uh, solid state drive i highly recommend using solid state drive because it is much faster and better as compared to simple hard disk drive so let us continue as you can see we are right inside the after effects and uh, let me open a simple project all right fellas so i have successfully opened my previous project that i was working on for my xfinity intro and here you can see uh, there is a, a resolution down sample factor pop up here and uh, what you need to do you need to make sure uh, it is uh, at its lowest which is quarter alright what is the meaning of this it means that uh, the preview of this uh, timeline will use uh, your RAM uh, to much extent so that's why you do not need uh, your after effects preview to use your uh, RAM too much so that's why I highly recommend not to use full i recommend to use quarter all right so the second thing is that you need to go to file and then you need to go to project settings and here under video rendering and effects you need to make sure you are using your gpu acceleration not software only all right once you have changed your settings just click on ok after that you need to uh, go to edit and uh, you need to go to preferences and uh, navigate to general once you are right inside uh, your preferences you need to go to previews and make sure the adaptive resolution limit is uh, at its lowest. I recommend to use 1x8 or 1x16 if you have a very low end PC but if you have a high end PC you can go with 1x2. So I am going to select 1x8 for now and uh, after that you need to go to media and disk cache and here you need to make sure your uh, you need to empty disk cache and also you need to empty database and cache all right so what is does uh, it will clear your all the uh, footage and allocated uh, uh, cache in your disk and will boost up your after effects so let us click on empty disk cache and it will delete everything so as you can see i have a 20 gb of cache which is being stored in my memory so that's why you can have an error out of memory in after effects you need to make sure it is clear click on ok after that you also need to make sure uh, you click on clean database and cache after that you need to make sure enable disk cache is uh, enabled all right do not disable it next we need to go to video preview and here make sure enable mercury transmit is not enabled it will use your ram and memory to much extent so that's why you can have this type of error on your after effects another important part is here you need to go to memory 
and make sure the RAM reserved for other applications is limited. All right. If, for example, I have a RAM of 16 GB and uh, I want to reserve 3 GB for other applications and 13 GB for my After Effects. So that's why I need to make it as low as possible so that After Effects can use my memory or RAM uh, at its maximum. And after that you are good to go and you need to click on OK and enjoy your editing in After Effects. Another important setting is you need to uh, make sure your paging settings under uh, advanced system protection is uh, enabled and it is managed automatically. Alright. So in order to uh, make sure you need to go to control panel. Once you are right inside your control panel just you need to search performance. And here you can see under systems adjust the appearance and performance of windows you need to click on it and after that do not change anything here and uh, keep windows choose what's best for your computer is selected make sure and uh, you need to go to advanced and uh, after that you need to click on change for virtual memory and make sure you have checked this option automatically manage paging file size for all drives all right do not mess these things up so that's it and after that you need to click on ok and after that you need to restart your pc all right and after you are done with your settings i hope uh, the out of memory error in after effects will be gone and uh, you will be able to make your editing to the next level so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any problem you can comment down below uh, in the uh, comment section and make sure you also follow me on the instagram named as uh, official xfinity because i upload uh, daily updates on my instagram account and if you want to speak with me directly you can also do that through instagram so that's why you need to follow me first and then i will respond you and try to solve your problem as soon as possible and uh, if you have any issues or if you want to uh, send suggestions or recommendations regarding my content you are most welcome it will be highly appreciated in my next video i will also share how we can increase the rendering speed in after effects uh, and uh, how we can increase the rendering speeds in adobe media encoder 2 and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day